In this video, we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting customary units of capacity. And the first skill we're going to look at is adding customary units of capacity. So it's important to remember all of your conversions because when we say write each answer in simplest form, that means that um, you need to reduce it down so you have the proper amount of quarts or pints or whatever you're working with and you don't have anything over um, however many pints or quarts should be there. Okay, so we're going to take a look at six quarts, two pints, plus two quarts, and four pints. You can just listen as I'm doing this problem here. So what we're going to do first of all, we're going to do simple addition. Two and four gives me six pints. Okay, but with the, the problem with this is that there are only two pints in one quart. Okay, so what we are going to do, we need to figure out how many pints that we can convert to quarts. Okay, so knowing that there are two pints of one quart, what I can do is actually subtract six pints from here. And that's going to give me zero pints left over. Okay, now what I'm going to do with my six pints is I'm going to regroup it over to my quarts. Okay, so I'm actually not carrying six, but I'm carrying three pints over here because six pints equals three quarts. Okay, so I'm carrying the three, which represents the quarts over there. Okay, so what I will do is just do simple addition from here. Three plus six is nine, plus two is eleven. I don't need to carry quarts over to gallons because I'm not dealing with gallons on this, so I'll just write 11 quarts and 0 pints. Now I'm going to take a look at adding 3 quarts plus 2 gallons 3 quarts. Okay, so what I will do is first of all add 3 and 3. That gives me 6 quarts. Now this 6 quarts is bigger than a gallon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4 from this. And why am I subtracting 4? Because 4 quarts equals 1 gallon. Okay, so I'll subtract 4. That gives me 2 quarts left over. And then the 4 that I subtracted, I'm going to regroup and turn that into 1 gallon. So now I'm going to add 1 plus 2. Pretty simple. It gives me 3. 3 what? 3 gallons. So I have 3 quarts plus two gallons, three quarts, equals three gallons, two quarts. And this is what I mean when I ask you to simplify your answer. So you're subtracting the quarts and regrouping it over to the gallons. So that's what I mean when I want the answer in simplest form. Now what I want you to do is get out your math journal and your pencil, and I want you to do these next two problems with me. So let's get out your math journal and pencil. Okay, and what I'll have you do is write down three gallons, two quarts, plus three gallons, three quarts. And let's write that down in your journal. So I'll give you time to do that. Now what we'll do is we'll add these together. So we know, first of all, two plus three, that's pretty simple. That gives me five quarts. Now we need to simplify this because we know that five quarts is more than one gallon because four quarts equals a gallon so we're going to subtract four quarts from this. And we'll just write our line right underneath here. Five minus four gives me one quart left over. Now I'm going to regroup. I'm going to carry my four quarts and turn it into a gallon over here. And that'll just be one. Now I'm going to add all these numbers up. Pretty easy. One plus three is four. Plus three is seven seven gallons. Okay, so three gallons, two quarts, plus three gallons, three quarts, equals seven gallons and one quart. Now we will do this next problem together once again. We're going to add one pint plus four quarts, one pint. So we'll add one and one together. That gives me two. Now we can regroup and the reason why we can regroup is because two pints equals one quart. So what we're going to do, we're going to subtract the two pints from this. Put our sign down there, equal sign. 
2 and 2, I'm sorry, 2 minus 2 will give me 0 pints left over. I'm going to carry my 2 pints over there, making it into only 1 quart. So now we're going to add 1 and 4 together. That gives me 5. 5 quarts. Okay, so I've simplified my answer. And 1 pint plus 4 quarts, 1 pint equals 5 quarts. Now what I'm going to have you do is pause this video and I want you to work out these four problems all by yourself in your math journal. And when you're finished with these four problems, I want you to press play and I'll have the answers and the steps and I'll explain the problems for you. So I want you to pause the video right now. Okay, so here are the answers for these addition problems with customary units of capacity. You can see the first problem, 7 quarts, 1 pint. Now the second problem, you can see with that one we have 1 gallon, 3 quarts. And you can see with this problem, we did not have to simplify it at all because 1 plus 2 gives me 3 quarts. 3 quarts cannot convert to a gallon. So we just left it that way. That was a pretty simple one. Third problem, 5 gallons, 1 quart. And finally, this fourth problem over here, six quarts, zero pints. And that is how you add customary units of capacity. Now we're going to take a look at subtracting customary units of capacity. Now it's important to remember your customary units of capacity, the conversions, because whenever you're subtracting or whatever you're adding, you're going to need to regroup if necessary. Okay, so we're going to take a look at five tablespoons, one teaspoon, minus two tablespoons, two teaspoons. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to start over on the right hand side just like we would with normal subtraction. And we're trying to take two away from one and we cannot do that. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to regroup. So we're going to change this five to a four. Now instead of normal subtraction, instead of just adding a one in front of that that one and making it an 11, what we need to do is we need to add a tablespoon to a teaspoon. Okay, now we know that three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. So what we're going to do, we're going to add three to this one. We're actually going to make that one into a four because we're adding a tablespoon to it, which equals three teaspoons. Okay, so now we've regrouped. Now it's pretty subtraction, pretty easy subtraction from here on out. We have four teaspoons minus two teaspoons. That gives us two teaspoons. Now we have four tablespoons minus two tablespoons. That gives us two tablespoons. Okay, so you can see that I've regrouped and I have all of my conversions um, correct and that I added three to my one teaspoon. So five tablespoons, one teaspoon minus two tablespoons, two teaspoons equals two tablespoons, two teaspoons. Now we're going to go over to the second problem. Five gallons minus five gallons, one pint minus two pints. You can keep following along with me. I'll have you do the bottom two problems with me. Okay, so we know that within one gallon, it equals eight pints. Okay, so that's important to remember whenever we're working with gallons and pints and subtracting those customary units of capacity. So we have two, trying to take two away from one. We cannot do that. So what we will do, we're going to need to regroup, change that five gallons into four gallons. Now what we will have to do is carry a gallon over to the pints column. Okay, and one gallon actually equals eight pints, as you can see if you look at your um, gallon monster there, or the, the big G that you drew. Okay, so we're going to add eight to this, making this one into a nine. This one plus eight equals nine. Now we're going to subtract, pretty simple subtraction, pretty easy subtraction from here on out. Okay, nine minus two gives me seven pints. And then four gallons minus zero gallons gives me four gallons. So five gallons, one pint minus two pints equals four gallons, seven pints. Okay, so that's that step. 
with this and that is our final answer um, for this problem. Now what we'll have you do is get out your math journal and what we're going to do, we're going to do these bottom two problems together and I will walk you through them. Now all of these problems we're regrouping as far as um, trying to take away like we did up here a tablespoon and putting it into to a teaspoon but if you don't have to regroup you don't need to regroup so I'm just showing you how to regroup some of these if you're you know if you don't need to regroup at all you can just keep on going through the problem okay so I want you to get out your math journal and a pencil and we're gonna walk through these problems together now it's important to remember with fluid ounces and cups that eight fluid ounces equals one cup okay so whenever I'm gonna borrow from a cup I'm gonna add eight to my fluid ounces so first of all we're trying to take nine away from two we cannot do that if you have two M&Ms I could not ever take nine away from you so we're gonna have to regroup once again we're gonna have to borrow a cup make that five into a four and then we're gonna need to bring the cups over to the fluid ounces so that means we're gonna need to add eight to the two why are we adding eight to the two because one cup equals eight ounces so I'm going to change that 2 to a 10, and now I'm going to subtract. So we'll subtract together. 10 minus 9 gives me 1 fluid ounce. 4 minus 3 gives me 1 cup. Okay, so 5 cups, 2 fluid ounces, minus 3 cups, 9 fluid ounces, equals 1 cup, 1 fluid ounce. Now we're going to do this second problem together so I'll have you write that out in your math journal five cups two fluid ounces minus seven fluid ounces so I'll have you write that down so the first thing that we need to do is regroup change that five into a four because I cannot take seven fluid ounces from two fluid ounces and I'm gonna need to bring a cup over to my fluid ounces I'm gonna need to add eight to my my two why eight to my two because eight ounces equals one cup okay so I'll change that two to a ten now it's time to do some subtraction pretty easy subtraction ten minus seven gives me three fluid ounces then we're gonna bring down our four four minus zero is four four what four cups so we have five cups, two fluid ounces, minus seven fluid ounces equals four cups, three fluid ounces. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do now is do some problems all by yourself, and then I'll show you the answers. So what I'm going to have you do now is work through these four problems all by yourself. And what I want you to do is just pause your video, work through the problems, and then when you press play, I will have the answers and I will explain these problems for you. So I will have you pause the video right now. Okay, so here are the correct answers. First problem, two tablespoons, one teaspoon. You can see we did not have to regroup at all, so that was just simple subtraction. Second problem, seven gallons, seven pints. Third problem, one cup, one fluid ounce. And the final problem, two cups, three fluid ounces. So that is how you both add and subtract customary units of capacity. And good luck on converting customary units of capacity and adding and subtracting customary units of capacity. If you have any questions on this concept, please come in, come in and see me.